it's become pretty clear now that the main trend for multiplayer games is using the live service model approach. This has been a really good thing for consumers, it allows us to get constant content updates that is available to all players, preventing the player base being split and really helping keep communities together. We've seen some of the early adopters like Rainbow Six Siege and Overwatch really thrive and flourish as games, but some of the more recent games have actually sometimes struggled to come in. We've seen with Apex Legends that there have been a lot of complaints about the live service, and Battlefield also has had similar problems, which is in some ways a shame, because it's good to see developers, publishers and companies seeing the benefits of this model and really pushing it forwards and trying this more consumer-friendly approach but then getting very critical feedback for it because it's not quite lived up to what players hoped and expected it would be and perhaps doesn't provide the content frequency from when DLC was paid for. It seems like the live service culture in gaming is very difficult to enter into but will be very rewarding in the long term once you get an established player base and community and you've got lots of content for the players to play. But there's another aspect of live service that I've noticed, and this applies specifically to the Battlefield franchise, because I believe they have an opportunity, or maybe have taken an opportunity, that I don't feel any other game series or franchise has at the moment. And that's the ability to instantly open up support for one of their older games. Whilst the last couple of main Battlefield titles have had paid DLC, quite often the DLC content was then re-released for free for all players to try out, which was very fun, it helped keep the community together and definitely kept players excited even when a new title was looming. But the real benefits of a live service is that you could decide if a couple of years into the development of one game that actually you've got a bit of creative fatigue with that time period and setting, you could then just go and reopen up support for an older game. And the reason why Battlefield is in a unique position for this is because of the main UI they have in the game. Since the end of Battlefield 4, they added in the brand new UI, where you could very quickly and conveniently switch between the various Battlefield titles and play each one depending on your fancy. This not only helps the players keep updated with all things Battlefield, but it also allows them to then try out any game they want to. If they're feeling in a Battlefield 4 mood, they log on and play that, but if halfway through they decide maybe there's an assignment in Battlefield 5 they really want to play, they can quickly switch games and then they can get on their way with that. And that is a functionality that as far as I'm aware no other game series has. And I feel like this is a huge opportunity for Battlefield and DICE if they find that they need more time for a title. Say perhaps the next Battlefield title is taking longer to develop than expected, but the studio still needs to make some money in the meantime. Perhaps instead of rushing the project and releasing it earlier than it really should be, you could then just get the post support team to say, we're going to reopen support for Battlefield 1, we're going to do two or three months of free content for people, and some extra cosmetic items that you can buy in the meantime. This way they can generate a little bit of revenue, keep player interest and player engagement up whilst this new title is being developed, and hopefully put out a much more polished title when that eventually releases. And what's more, imagine how much hype this would make when a particular game that is your favourite Battlefield gets opened up for new support. It's just a pipe dream, but for me, one of the most hype announcements possible would be if they said they were going to reopen support for Battlefield 4 for another year. I would absolutely love that, because I absolutely love that game to death. And what's more, it opens up opportunities for perhaps doing more community projects like the Community Map Project, or doing perhaps community tournaments or community challenges. There's a lot of ways you can go about this, and there's a lot of opportunities for extra content and extra community engagement with this system. And I really hope that over time they can actually explore these opportunities because it can not only provide an extra sense of community engagement, it will also separate Battlefield further from all the other live services available on the market and could even help with the potential identity crisis people are concerned with with the game. A lot of people are suspecting that Battlefield has a little bit of an identity crisis, they aren't sure who to please and it perhaps is misguiding the development of the game. But with all the different design philosophies of the recent main titles, having the ability to reopen up support for one of them means that the people that like a certain style of Battlefield can go and play one of those particular games. One of the main problems that games get at the moment is that if an old title is still got a large player base, there's no money coming through that. But with the live service model approach means that you can reopen that support and regain revenue for that game by not only adding extra content but also extra cosmetic purchases that players can access. It's this creative freedom that can ultimately help the game separate themselves from each other, provide as many experiences as possible for the players, and also help alleviate creative fatigue and rush development. I really hope this gets considered in the future because this is a huge opportunity that Battlefield has as a franchise and perhaps has even already taken. Maybe I'm a few steps behind and they've got this in the roadworks for the next few years. I think that would be absolutely awesome. 
But I'm interested to hear what you all think about this. Do you think this is feasible for a AAA franchise such as Basfield, or is it just a pipe dream? Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave it a like if you did, and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. I've been the guy from the Gamertag, and I'll see you on another video. You disgusting son of a bitch. You disgusting.